17 after 8 right now. One of the fastest growing industries in the country is what is called computer software programs that make computers run and function and do things. Some of the people making the programs and the money in this field are surprisingly young. Owen Linsmare is 17 years old. After school, he works as a programmer. He reviews new programs for a magazine. He has also written a book on how to beat video games. Bill Hogue is 20. Jeff Conway is 16. Their company, uh, the last two young men, their company, Big Five Software, made over a half a million dollars last year. Good morning, guys. Half a million? Half a million. Gross, man. net, what? Well, gross sales. We're uh, hoping the net is a lot less because it's tax time, but uh, that much sales. Half a million, and you're how old, Bill? I'm 20. 20, and you're 16. 16. And Owen? I'm 17. 17. How did you get started in this? Uh, well, my... It runs in the family. My father used to be a programmer, and then he was a he was a manager at uh, Sweet International, and he had computers at home. And I guess I absorbed it through osmosis mostly. And you started very young. How old were you when you oh, first I, put your fingers to a keyboard? I would assume I was about nine. I'd say at the that time. That started early. How about you, Bill? When did you I was start? Like the first year of high school, and that was a long time ago. Oh, oh anyway, yeah, you're 20 now. Yeah. Shoot, that's what. Five years ago. Five or right? six years ago. Oh, yeah. long time. Yeah. Computers were just coming out. The small personal computers, Radio Shack, uh, Radio Shack just came out with their first one. All right. So you got hooked. What about you, Jeff? I saw it school a lot and around at Radio Shack, stores and other things. And just got started. Yeah, I used and to work at a Radio Shack, and that's how he met me. All right. Now, you all have created, what, seven video games? Mm -hmm. And the first one was called? It's called Supernova. Supernova. Now, some people came to you, as I understand it, and offered you $2,000 for it, right? Yeah, we said And you it said? In. We said, wow. But then right. we got to thinking, hey, that's not even minimum wage for what we put into it. So we said, how about some more? And they said no. And, so, and you decided what? To market it on your own? We decided to sell it ourselves, yeah. Well, where in the heck do you begin to say, okay, I'm going to market a, a game? Uh, well, you start with the magazines. We put a small ad in, and the sales started coming in. You know, everybody that saw it urge us to do it and ask us to go on, so we did. And how much have you made, how much have you grossed from it? Uh, do you know how uh, much you, from, that, from that game so far? I would say in gross sales, we've made over 100,000. And like it sure they, beats 2,000, doesn't it? sure beats yeah. 2,000, yeah. Now, okay, how do you start designing a video game? What's the first step? Okay, well, I get the ideas from everyone around, either on paper, it's, you know, word of mouth, and I come over here. First, he puts them on a yeah. paper. Oh, okay. you put them on a... Then oh, when he's done with that, paper. he transfers on the oh, screen. Oh, no, here we are on the screen, yeah. What, what is... Okay, that's like a sketch of some aliens that he's made. And we want to use them in the game and see what they're going to look like. And the next... Okay, that's step, graph paper, right? Yeah, that's a graph paper, special graph paper. That's the exact size of the screen. So the next step is to come over to the computer. Right. And with a special drawing program, you actually draw an alien. Okay, there's your cursor right there. You can drive that around. And you can set points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Making the leg on there or whatever. Then once you get it done, then uh, that's his part of it. Then I take over, and I program in a language called assembly language or machine language. And I can scroll through it, and if you hit the up or down arrow keys, it goes to more parts of the program. And I type in all the instructions. I tell the computer how to play the game and what to do. Okay. And then once I'm done, then the finished game, hit number four, and then we get the finished game. The finished game, you know, looks like this. With sound effects besides. With sound effects, too. Now, and that's all programmed in as well, That's all programmed right? in. Owen, what do you think of this game? This game is one of the foremost games in the industry right now. It's, it's their newest game, newest release. What do you call this one? We call it Defense Command, and that's our... Defense Command? Defense Command, or DEF COM for short. <laughs> right. And that's our little logo there. And uh, hit one, and we can actually start up the game and play it. Okay. Now, now you'll we'll see, see yourself moving down under our famous flagship with the rotating eye. Okay. Okay, now don't shoot that big bug ship or get mad. Kill oh, it you. will? Okay, yeah. no, wait. How do you okay. shoot with a button? Now press a red button. Okay, oh. now move right oh. and left. Don't get killed. Oh, don't get you killed. Just got don't killed. get killed. Owen, tell me what to do. You're the pro on these. I need help. Ah. Ah. All right, you're only allowed one shot in the air at a time, so you should use it sparingly. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, right. if you push up on the joystick, oh. it'll fire an emergency antimatter bomb, which can kill everything. So push an up emergency antimatter. Wait, wait till an alien comes out and now push a. Push the button up, or the joystick up. Up, up. Towards me. Oh, there. Got it. There we go. 
Now those fuel oh, cells. Oh wow! Are, <laughs> those fuel cells. <laughs> oh, the that's easy. Are what you're trying to protect. Now you're yeah, but now them. you're all out of them. You only had four of them. Oh, you only had four? You yeah. can't use them up. The game would be kind of easy if you could do that. Oh, every time. Sh this could get you nervous, guys. <laughs> I know it. We this have to play it when we program it. <laughs> this is super. Why is this such a good game? And why is it all such right. a? It's, for one thing, it's fast-moving. The graphics are enjoyable. There's sound effects, which add to a game. You've got uh, lots of graphics on the screen, things moving all over the place. Uh-oh. You didn't even get high enough to get on the high score <laughs> table. <laughs> now, who, who's, who's got their folks working for them? I do. You do? Uh-huh. Right. Your folks are working for you uh -huh. now? Down What's there. that done to your home life with your family? Um, what well, home? makes home life and business life very close. So when I come home, I want to relax, but I can't because they'll, you know, give me all the questions from the day that I've been trying to avoid all day long. Guys, good luck. This is just super. Owen, nice, best to you, yeah. too. Nice yeah. meeting you all. Good luck. Yeah, with yeah. Wow, that's fun. We'll be back.